Hello and welcome to AW.1, the AW Women's Division blog. My name is Travis. You can read more of our articles at AW.1. Hit me up on Twitter at AW underscore one. That's O-N-E. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. It makes us feel too sweet. All right, let's get into it. So this is an audio version of the article we have online at aw.1 right now called Let's Talk About Tony. If you'd prefer to read it, you can find it there. Look, I love the timeless Tony Storm gimmick. When it first started, the vignettes had a hit rate well below the Mendoza line. But the misses looked so promising and the hits were just home runs. So thankfully, Tony Storm and Tony Khan stuck with it because now it feels like every interaction we get with Tony Storm, she gives us some line or something to talk about in the days and weeks to come. On top of that, I love Tony Storm's in-ring work. From an in-ring standpoint, I'd rate Tony Storm's first reign with the world, at the time interim, championship, up there with Hakiro Shida's first run, or Jamie Hayter's run. Tony is an incredible work rate wrestler. Unfortunately, and it brings me no joy to say this, in that upstanding babyface character, she couldn't draw heat to save her life. AEW fans showed you this when they were frothing at the mouth at Full Gear 2022 when she took on Jamie Hayter. You know, despite Jamie Hayter being a cheating heel, who had Britt Baker and Reba interfering and she threw weapon shots, hitting Tony Storm with her belt and basically stealing the title, the roof lifted off that arena when Jamie Hayter won. So with that having been said, I love the gimmick. I love the in-ring worker. Why isn't this working? On paper, we should have the best of both worlds, a Tony Storm who can go in the ring and draw crowd heat at will. But so far, the title defenses in the Timeless era have fallen flat. The build for Timeless Tony Storm versus Diana Perazzo at Revolution was so well built, it was one of the most anticipated matches on the card. And given that card, that's high praise. But botching the landing with a cold and mostly unfeeling match just makes the whole feud feel like something I'd rather not ever go back and revisit. Unfortunately, this has become the trend for the timeless Tony Storm title reign. Entertaining talking segments, interesting builds, but disappointing blow-offs. So what's the disconnect? Well, some will blame the babyface heel misalignment because people want to cheer for Tony Storm, but having a heel that fans want to prevail doesn't prevent a match from getting heat. We've seen this dozens of times. It could be a combination of factors, but the big overlying thing, in my opinion, of why this isn't connecting is that Tony Khan and Tony Storm want this character to wrestle a style congruent with the gimmick, and they haven't nailed it down yet. It is a noble pursuit. You know, you look at Stone Cold Steve Austin, he didn't throw up middle fingers and then chug some beers and then go in the ring and work like his former gimmicks, the ringmaster or stunning Steve Austin. I can see how trying to sync up Tony Storm's in-ring style to a bygone era that most fans would consider boring could pose a challenge. But Tony Khan is going to understand that you can't go two-footed in for that very reason. My hope is that in the same way they painted with broad strokes in Timeless Tony Storm's vignettes until they found their lane, that they're gradually going to find the guardrails for her in-ring as well. I felt that with Deanna Perazzo trying to coax the old Tony Storm out, maybe if Deanna had outclassed Tony in the ring, Tony would snap back in rolled form to even the playing field in the match and then make, just ultimately use some timeless shenanigans to win the match. And that would have told you that she still got it, but this timeless gimmick is the thing that gives her the competitor's edge. Instead, it would seem that Tony and Tony want to stick with crafting this timeless in-ring style. Despite my reservations, I do actually hope that they figured out because the character will be all the richer for it. But 
I also just think that Timeless Tony Storm is so over that sacrificing a bit of artistic vision for better matches is a trade-off that everyone can live with. You can let me know what you think in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter at EW underscore ONE. Thanks for watching and as always, remember to let the women in your life know how much you appreciate them.